Howdy, how's it going? My name is Davy Chappie, and I hope you like blending magic and technology so much that they may as well be completely interchangeable concepts, because we're going to talk about the spell list for the Artificer. I'm going to talk about how the Artificer interacts with its spells, give a brief review of its list as it relates to the class as a whole, and since the idea of an Artificer is being a technological badass, I'm going to throw out my own concepts for what some of these spells could be flavored for to match your own Tony Starks. As always, keep in mind that a lot of this is just my opinion, and as far as the Artificer goes, the TLDR of this video is that you really don't need a list. Most of the Artificer spells are completely serviceable, and you honestly can't go wrong with most of them, so feel free to completely ignore me and play your mechanical girl however you want. But with that out of the way, let's begin. So the Artificer is a weird case in the world of spellcasting in that it acts as a half-caster, which is to say that it doesn't get as many spells as the other classes because spellcasting isn't the main gimmick of this class, but it also gets cantrips, a feature which is mainly reserved for classes where spellcasting is the main gimmick. This seems to be because the Artificer sort of goes half-seas between its spells and the Artificer infusions that it makes, using the infusions to fill any gaps where spellcasting falls short, and thereby keeping magic as a central focus despite not getting so many spells, sort of like a warlock. These spells are also heavily implied to be magical gadgets that you as an artificer have created, rather than just traditional spells, and flavoring them as such will help you get into the mindset that your spells are meant to be used when the task requires it, and not just whenever you feel like it. Now, when I weigh these spells, three important things to remember are A, that the artificer doesn't get as many cantrips as the other classes, so their importance is way heavier, two, that the artificers can swap out any leveled spells that they have on a long rest, which means that situational spells will get a break because you can just swap out spells whenever you get the chance to repair and IV, the Artificer is much more thick than most other casty boys and actually doesn't mind being in the middle of a fight, so melee spells, concentration or otherwise, will also get a break since the class with the biggest intelligence bonus is super okay with constantly getting hit on the head. But let's get into spells, starting with cantrips. Acid Splash. Dishing out 2d6 damage is great when it's set up right. Create Bonfire. Very annoying area denial. Please do not use real bonfires this way. Dancing Lights. You don't need these when you can just have a torch, but I mean, what's the point of magic if you can't have a little flex? Firebolt. The go-to damaging cantrip. Frostbite. Really good when people can only attack once. Less good when they realize that they have two hands. Guidance. Remember when I said that this was a one? I was just joshing. It's a one, but harder. Light. Sometimes lights don't need to dance. Sometimes lights are just lights. Mage Hand. If you've ever played Divinity Original Sin 2 and gotten the telekinesis perk, then you know why you need this. Magic Stone. Knives? Nah. Rocks are the way to go. Mending. Good for fixing a broken door, but you'll need stronger magic to fix what's really broken inside of you. Message. Hey, let me just point to someone and announce my secret message to them. Poison Spray. Pretty great for damage, but a lot of things resist poison. Prestidigitation. Learn to throw your voice. Fool your friends. Fun at parties. Ray of Frost. It doesn't really make people slow down that much, but also you don't really need to worry either way. Resistance. Concentration cantrip? Ew. Shock and Grasp. A nice pat on the back will get any villain to stop fighting you, but 40 volts of electricity is good too. Spare the Dying. Just buy a healer's kit, please. Thorn Whip. I know I use this joke a lot, but you should actually reflavor this as a scorpion chain. It's way more thematic. Thunderclap. Considering you actually like to be in the middle of a fight, you can get away with taking this cantrip. First level. Absorb elements. Early game, there's not a lot of elements to hit you. Only take this if you feel like a lot of elements are hitting you anyway. Alarm. Yeah, you could set up a magical ward in case of intruders, or you could just get stabbed like a normal person. Catapult. Nothing is funnier than interrupting the villain's monologue with the force. Cure wounds. Half-casters should not be the main caster. Get a medical degree and then come back to me. Until then, you're the intern. Detect magic. If you want to be Inspector Gadget, this spell will help you fill that role. Disguise self. No one will ever recognize you once you deploy an emergency bow tie. Expeditious retreat. There's nothing that says that you have to run away with this, so you can just have fun with those healies. Fairy Fire. Targeting reticule activated. Please bone targets. False Life. The material component for this is just alcohol, so I don't even have to come up with a headcanon this time. Featherfall. This can be anything from a parachute to a propeller hat. Grease. Piss on the ground or you'll never be safe. Identify. Hold on a sec, guys. Let me pull up Google. Jump. I think by now that you sort of get that the artificer can just make any spell work. Any spell, but jump. Long Strider. You have Expeditious Retreat, you don't need this. Purify Food and Drink. Great for when you need it, just add a little lemon and you'll be all good. Sanctuary. I don't know exactly how your weird machines can accomplish what this spell does, but I like to think that there's just a little robot running interception for you. Snare. Okay, come on now, did you have to invent a magical rope spell just so that you don't have to admit you can't tie a knot? Second level. Aid. It's like healing, but not as good. Alter Self. And when the gun goes off, it sparks and you're ready for surgery. Surgery. Arcane Lock. Yo dog, I put a lock on your locks so that you could lock your locks while you lock your locks. Blur. Cocaine is a hell of a drug. Continual Flame. It's good that the flame never goes out because it means that you don't really need to worry about spell slot economy after the first casting of the spell. Dark Vision. You really, really won't need this, and if you do, somebody else can cast it. Or just buy a torch. Enhance Ability. There's a lot of utility with the spell, but also a lot of other casters can take this instead. Enlarge Reduce. I've never liked this spell, and there's only one way for the Artificer to inflate somebody, and that's with an air hose right up the beat metal! Most people wear metal. Make him pay for it. Invisibility. Hey, have you guys seen The Invisible Man? It was actually a really good movie. 
Lesser restoration. Gotta have the salve for the job. Levitate. Jet boots that only go like five feet up. It's not the worst thing to take. Magic mouth. Get messages to people before smartphones do it for you. Magic weapon. A good choice if you're planning on whacking people. Protection from poison. The usefulness of this is so limited, but it's there when you need it, I guess. Pyrotechnics. It does two different things badly. Rope trick. Don't worry, guys. I'll just use my science rope to create an extra dimensional portal. Nothing weird here. See invisibility. Unless you're being stalked by a spooky stalker man, you will never need this. Skyrite. Completely useless, but still really fun, though. Spider climb. Cover yourself with sticky sticky you. Web. It's a net. Third level. Blink. I wonder if when you teleport, your old body dies and a new copy of you just goes sauntering away. Catnap. Crushingly terrible. If you have 10 minutes, then you have an hour, and most DMs will just let you get away with less than an hour anyway. Create food and water. Good for when you're starving. Dispel magic. Other casters could probably do this instead, but if you want to be the guy. Elemental weapon. Just like magic weapon, it's contingent on you wanting direct face personally. Flame arrows. And this is contingent on you wanting direct face from the back. Fly. Rocket boots that actually work. Glyph of warding. A really long description that boils down to it's a landmine. Haste. Eh, it's better that someone casts this on you. You'll get it sooner. Protection from energy. Energy shield. Whoop whoop. Revivify. So, I'm torn on this, but I'm giving it a 3, because even though someone else should probably take this instead of you, you'll never know when they'll be the one who needs this casted on them. Tiny Servant. It's adorable, and it gets 3 because it's adorable, and I'm biased. Fuck you, it's my list. Water Breathing. Take it when you need it. Water Walk. You won't have it when you need it, and you won't need it when you have it. Fourth level. Arcane Eye. Send out a GoPro to spy on your neighbors. Elemental Bane. Good for accenting your elemental cantrips, but honestly, you can use concentration for better things. Fabricate. It's a fun gimmick spell, made less fun by the fact that you're a half caster, so you're burning a very precious resource for this gimmick spell. Freedom of movement. Largely unneeded, but it makes you feel slippery and moist. Lehman's secret chest. It's a surprise chest that will help us later. Mordenkainen's faithful hound. A spooky, invisible hound that comes to your aid. Yay. Mordenkainen's private sanctum. A sanctuary to protect your friends. Utility beats out damage for half casters. That's just how it is. Adaluke's resilient sphere. Most people are trapped in a metaphorical bubble of their own anyways, so why not give them a physical representation? Stone shape. Shape stone. Stone skin. Skin stone. Fifth level. Animate objects. Bring existential dread to your choice of furniture. Big B's hand. Good for utility. Don't worry about the damage. Creation. I really feel like by the time you get this, you won't really need it, Mr. and Mrs. Create Anything I Want Already. Greater Restoration. It's like lesser restoration, but nah, I make that joke too much. Skill Empowerment. Write up a fake medical degree and fake it until you make it. Transmute Rock. Again, like Creation, I just feel like this isn't getting the best for fifth tier. Wall of Stone. Walling off your problems to put up with them later? That's a mood. But that'll about do it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to check out all my social media in the description below. Be careful inventing spells that might bring back warmongering titans from 10 years ago, and maybe support me on Patreon so that I can afford all the lube, I mean grease, that it takes to pull some of these spells off. But yeah, Davy out.